Hello, welcome back. Today we got an amazing video, probably the conference that everybody wants to watch, everybody wants to hear about, everybody's going to keep track of. We got the NFC South. Um, probably two of the most popular teams, at least uh, the most popular storyline probably, uh, Brady in the NFC South. And um, that's how, that's how we're going to we're gonna talk about this conference today, division, sorry. And um, yeah, I've got nothing else, let's go into it. So, first up, we have the Atlanta Falcons, who I honestly, I thought they would do better than I have them actually going. But, um, yes, so yeah, I have them going 6-10. and 10. Um, With the, I can see them going 12-4. and 4. It's very, very possible. But, um, they also have a very low floor of 4-12. and 12. So, yes, I think 6-10, and 10, again, I, like around there again, um, yeah, they have they have a, some a tough schedule. They play Seattle, Dallas, and Green Bay in their first four weeks. Um, well, three of the first four weeks. And then they have Minnesota two weeks later, and then it gets a little bit easier with uh, two games against Carolina and Denver. And then, um, but then back half of the schedule after their bye week, I have them going two and five after their bye week, um, losing to New Orleans twice, Tampa Bay, twice, Kansas City, and the only times they win is Las Vegas and LA Chargers, so this, it'll be a tough season, I want them to do well, I like Matt Ryan, I like Calvin Ridley, I like Julio Jones, um, but I, I don't see it happening, I have them going 6-10. and 10. Next, we have the Carolina Panthers, who are, they're, they're not going to do well, um, they've officially committed to a rebuild, I feel, um, they're gonna build around Christian McCaffrey. They're gonna build around. They're gonna start um, working on a defense. They started that by drafting Derek Brown this year. They did end up losing Luke Keekley, which hurts. But um, yeah, they're gonna. This is the start of the rebuild. They'll. And I have them going at three and thirteen, with the floor of zero and sixteen, but um, a ceiling of seven and nine. Uh, they start off. I think they'll win against Las Vegas. They'll start off two and one with wins against Las Vegas and L.A., losing to Tampa. And after that Chargers game, I have them losing nine games in a row. And then they finally get a win against Denver after their bye week just to go and lose their next three games, including a game at Washington. Um, so, yeah, so I have them going 3-13, and 13, getting that a higher draft pick, um, maybe getting that quarterback they want or a wide star wide receiver, or another defensive building block, but I, I don't know, not quite there yet in my, with looking at this uh, 2021 draft class, but um, yeah, they're not going to do well at all. Matt Rule will have a big project on his hands this year, and I have the Carolina Panthers 3-13. and 13. Now we start with the fun stuff. We have the New Orleans Saints up first, and I have them going dominant 14-2 and two this year, um, with a ceiling of 16-0. Very talented team. Added Emmanuel Sanders should add a lot in terms of touch. Very good red zone target. Um, played very well for the 49ers last year. Um, and then the floor right for the uh, Saints I have at 10-6. and Because, um, again, there's some part of me that doubts them a little bit. I don't, I don't know exactly why, but there's just some part that has a little bit of doubt. But overall, I think they'll go 14-2. and um, They start off on an amazing... Uh, a seven zero run. I have them starting off on, including a win at Tampa Bay Week One. That'll be a game every football fan ever will watch. Um, then, then the schedule lightens up quite a bit. Uh, they in the next six wins, their toughest games against uh, Green Bay in Week Three, and then um, then they go out um, play Tampa Bay again Week Seven. Week nine, I think is what it is, November eighth, and they lose again. That's that's their first loss is against Tampa Bay, and um, it'll be very very important to um to the future to this NFC South. Um, and then they go on another huge winning streak, um, beating teams like uh really just beating teams like Philly. That's that's about it. And then they go and play Kansas City, which I have them losing game, losing. It could go either way. This one could very well go either way. But I have them losing um, and then winning out against Minnesota and Carolina. 
Uh, yeah, overall fourteen and two, great season. Not uh, not the toughest of schedules, except for the t- uh, Tampa Bay and Kansas City game. But um, yeah, fourteen and two, not bad at all. And finally, the last team in the NFC South, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, I have them going fourteen and two as well, which means another tiebreaker, as we saw with the NFC East, the AFC East. Um, I don't think. And we saw one with the AFC South, so I love my love my ties, apparently. And um, I, after I looked at the, the tiebreakers, Tampa Bay got the they got the number one seed. Um, not only in the NFC South, in the NFC, as we'll you'll see um, with tomorrow's videos. Uh, tomorrow's yeah, one of tomorrow's videos, you'll see that for sure they got the number one seed. But um, yeah, as I mentioned in the New Orleans Saints video, start off week one, a ma- game of game of the week by far. Um, but then same thing with the Saints; they go on a huge winning streak. Um, winning, let's see, winning ten games in a row to go ten and one. And then um, similarly to the New Orleans Saints, they lose to Kansas City. Uh, again, game that could go either way. But, um, yeah, they lose that game and then win their final four to end up going 14-2. and two. And as I mentioned, getting that number one seed, which will end up being huge for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when it comes to the playoffs. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, no, spurs- no spokesperson sponsoring the web, uh, talking about the website. Said I'm just going to do it here. Go check it out. It is in the link in the description if you have no clue what I'm talking about. Um, I have a website called um, www.xtrain22x.wixsite.com. This slash. This. What the heck am I doing? This slash. There we go. Um, uh, T O T H draft. Uh, not draft. That's my. Uh, T O T H fantasy football. It helps with all your fantasy football needs. Um, and if not, then come yell at me in the comments saying you lied, and then I'll I'll fix it. I'll, I'll fix it. whatever you need. I'll I'll put it in there. Um, but yeah, go check it out. Um, and th- thank you again for watching the video. Tomorrow, uh, we fin I finish up with these uh, record predictions. Um, going with the AFC and NFC West, as those are the only two divisions left. And then Friday will be one of my favorite video days that I've ever, in this last week that I've done, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be my favorite. And then um, something I think about doing is for the be- on Wednesday of every week, I'm just going to give you my predictions for for the week and just go week by week with that. Um, yeah, that's all I got for now. Uh, adios.